Hi everybody, thanks a lot for dropping by. It's good to see you and I'm happy you're here. I wanted to talk a little bit about hitting the wall and I did hit the wall and I think I'm still trying to peel myself off of it. It's been a hard week for me. I have felt very unmotivated. I have felt frustrated. I have felt fear. I have felt anger. I have felt, you know, it's kind of those, uh, all those steps they talk about when, when you lose, a, you know, you lose a loved one. And I think that's kind of maybe what I'm feeling right now is that I have lost what I knew, what was out there that I, I understood, that I, I was relying on as far as the daily way of living. And boy, has that changed, has that changed. You know, there's a movie 2012 and it, you know, it's a big, huge flood. Um, it was an earthquake and then huge floods. And they load all these people onto these big, big arcs and they're floating on the new ocean. And everything is different. Everything that they knew is gone. And uh, the big arcs, they finally find land and they open up these big doors and these people start walking out into this new world, new to everyone. And that is how I kind of feel it's going to be, is we're all going to be walking out into this new world and having to find our way. And you know, there is anticipation for that, excitement, fear. You know, all those feelings just go into that process. And so it's hard, it's hard for me. I'm trying to, you know, find joy in things and find laughter in things. We, of course, most of us, unless you have family that lives within your home, uh, a lot of us are alone uh, or a lot of us have family that we can't have home with us. You know, come on in, have dinner. So we're finding other ways to love and nurture and be with the people who are important to us. And we have found the, as I've said before, the uh, what do you call it? The Skyping and the Zoom and, and all the FaceTime, all of those wonderful interactive video chats. We have found that to be, oh, it's just wonderful. I talk with my, my family, extended family, uh, every Sunday. We just touch in, you know, touch base for a half hour, but it's good to see their faces and we find things to laugh about. We find things to communicate, you know, our frustrations with, and it helps. And I hope that if you have the opportunity to do that, you, I hope that you will. And I've, you know, I'll, I'll extend this invitation again that I would love to, to do a, just a small chat room kind of thing with some of you. I have uh, two people that are interested in doing it. You're not on camera. You're not on, you know, you're not on Facebook or, or YouTube. It's just very, you know, just chit chatting. So if you're interested in that, let me know. It'd be, it would know, be fun just to take a half hour and just, you know, meet and greet kind of a, a thing. Of course, I've been eating way too much. I had a friend say to me, uh, oh boy, I've lost weight because I'm not going out and eating and, and going to, they love beer, love it. And they're microbrew fans. And so they go out, you know, drink a beer often. And uh, she said, I've lost weight because I'm not going out and drinking. And I wanted to say, yeah, but I found it. I found it, you know, eating way too much and too many snack foods and all those things that, you know, we know they are not good for us and so i'm trying to correct that you know and, and this have you been in a pair of regular pants since you've been holed up i i don't much i use my leggings or some comfy pants you know nothing that's been extremely tastefully uh you know wearing uh i'm trying to think here i i think that another thing that i mentioned once before and i'm trying to do it especially during this week where I've been just, you know, just boom, is I have been trying to do some of that mindfulness. And mindfulness, uh, and again, uh, there are wonderful videos on YouTube for meditate, beginning meditation and beginning mindfulness. And what mindfulness does is you're just supposed to, this is easy, to try and just shut everything out, you know, try to calm your brain and, and try to think of nothing except for maybe Oh, something that you like, maybe flowers or, uh, you know, uh, trees, something that you can really, you know, look at in your brain. But I can only do it for about 10 seconds. And then what happens is the monkey brain kicks in and your mind's going all which way and you're out here thinking about grocery lists and things you need to do around the house and things you want to do in the garage. It, it, you know, it's a terribly difficult thing. But I've been trying really hard because I do need to regroup. And I think that will really help me. 
The other thing I wondered if any of you do, are doing is diaring. This is an amazing time in our lives to diary, you know, to, to talk, to chronicle how we feel and what's going on in the world and how we feel it's going to be, how different it will be. And I think that uh, this would be a great time to start you know, doing diary. I've been trying again in this this last week. I've been because I know we're down for the long haul, you know, for us especially, um, you know, we have some compromised health issues and we're not going to be able to be one of those first out in phase one. We probably will unfortunately, unfortunately be looking at the phase three, which goodness, that could come to August, you know. So, you know, I have to kind of regroup now and say, okay, here you are, Jill, let's move it along and uh, you know, get your eating in line and get yourself your paints out and, and do something, you know, therapeutic for your brain and you'll get through this. And we all will get through this. It's, it's hard. We all hit the wall. We all know that, you know, we've got to do what we've got to do. And that's staying put for now. It'll be over and we'll start to, like the ark, slowly walk off into the new world and see what it's, it's going to look like. And I think that we will be, we'll be good, and it's going to be different, but we will be good, and we're gonna stay strong, we're gonna stay safe, and we're gonna stay home. Love you all. Take care now, bye-bye.